an obsession with dinosaurs when I was probably around four or five years old. So <clears throat> that was what I drew. Um, dinosaurs, knights in armour was a big thing. So, um, yeah. But early childhood, um, I do remember uh, we had a printed copy of The Triumph of Death by Bruegel, and that had a massive impact on me. Uh, really powerful kind of um, feeling it gave me. And those encyclopedic kind of works you can return to study all the tiny details. So that I, rem I remember as being, I think, you know, it was quite influential for me. Uh, I went to Central St. Martins, which were just amalgamating. And um, so that was kind of cool, but at the time, the, um, it was run by a coterie of abstract expressionists. And I was just like a, a square peg in a round hole. It wasn't going to work. And they, they disapproved, they actively disapproved of life drawing or any of those traditional kind of technical um, facilities. So I, I had an interesting, I, I, I pegged it out for the three years, but it was mostly in battle mode. But at the same time, I did meet a couple of really influential people in my life. Uh, one of whom was John Stezica, who is still going. He uses printing and collage and uh, they are quite dark psychological images as well. So he, he, was, um, he was actually a great tutor, introduced me to a lot of thinking about the practice of, of what you're doing, producing images. Those Netherland guys, Bosch, Bruegel, um, they're, they're a big influence for me. Um, funny though, because they're dark, but they're also um, humorous. They're that very interesting combination of um, humor, parable, folk tale, peasants, death, all sort of that, uh, the, you know, literally carnivals of human folly. So, I mean, that's definitely, uh, even if it's not immediately um, visible in my work, that's definitely an underlying theme for me. I mean, I suppose, uh, yeah, kind of psychological aspect too. And also um, maybe kind of universal themes about the human condition rather than uh, rather than it being interested in any very specific political um, or identity kind of politics um, I'm more drawn to very fundamental universal kind of aspects of human human condition and I've found that not through uh, kind of too much intellectualizing. This is where I've headed um, through feeling. So it, it, I inevitably, even though I, I've consciously tried to escape, I've, I've tried to do um, sunlit vistas and I, I do actually have some concepts as well. I, I, there may well be a day when, when that, that happens, but I'm inevitably drawn back and back and back to this same sky with the same color range. And um, it's because they are, for me, they're, it has an intensity and an emotional, uh, a profound emotional kind of key note that I, I don't seem able to avoid. <laughs>